In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Canva Prisma effect, which is kind of a great way to cartoonize your photo or image. And I'll give you a plenty of few ways that you can do that as well. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below where you can either try Canva for free or simply use it as a way to log in. So here I just have a, a photo right in the middle here. I just drag and drop it there. What you want to do is click on your photo and from there, click on edit image. Now, keep in mind that you might have either the newer or the older way of like going about and finding these. In the beginning, I was scrolling down. I'm like, I can't seem to find it anywhere. But the reason for that is because if you have the newer one, you can revert to the old way of searching for like the apps and the ways to edit your images overall. OK, so if you have any questions about that and you can't seem to find what we're going to be looking for, that's probably why you just need to revert to the old way of finding it. Anyway, what we're going to be looking for is Prisma. Uh, I already have it here because I've used it, which is going to so show Prisma. But if it's not there, it's going to be like an app where you can just click on it and it will allow you to use all of the you know different modes in Prisma. So what I want to do is click on see all. And this is pretty much how we get to it. So we can use a lot of these different ways of kind of changing around this image. I'm going to go through a few just to kind of show you what they look like. I guess you could say it's a great way of cartoonizing it, like maybe not that one so much. Obviously, depending on what picture you're going to be using, it can look better or worse. That's more of like a watercolor. I still think that looks pretty cool. This one's going to be snowfall. We have passion fruit. <clears throat> we have storm. That one might work a little better. Okay, not bad. Kick scooter, which in my opinion, I think usually looks pretty good. Once again, though, with the water, you know, it, it might not pop as well. We have lizard. We have pattern. And of course, we have tiramisu. Now, if you do find one that you like, that one doesn't look too bad. We can just say we can click on apply. So if we want to make this a little bit bigger, business as usual, right? Just kind of extend it. You know, probably not the best one here just because the, the picture looks a little blurry because of that. But nevertheless, that's how you can use the Canva Prisma effect. I think the biggest thing here is going to be trying to find it. Like I said, depending on how you're set up on Canva, you might just have to search the old way. Uh, but if you have any questions or if you get stuck trying to find the Prisma effect, feel free to leave a comment down below. That's the very quick tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.